Hallo Leute, wir kommen zur Folge von Doki Doki Blue Skies World. Letzte Folge hatten wir die Weihnachtszeit, die so süß war. Und deswegen empfehle ich euch, sie nur wirklich anzuschauen. Das war wirklich extrem süß, was zwischen Serien und uns äh, gesche geschehen ist. Und ja, jetzt sind wir anscheinend schon Januar, was mich wundert, weil ich dachte, wir würden irgendwas noch für Silvester bekommen, aber anscheinend nicht. Aber okay. Äh, deswegen, ich würde sagen, wir verlieren nicht so viel Zeit und stützen uns mal rein. So. Most people typically see January as a pretty dairy uh, uh, month. January blues, I think it's called. With the cold weather, the grey skies, the end of the Christmas holidays. Yeah, I can't see it. No, not this January though. I haven't been able to get serious kiss out of my mind. It's hard to believe she's actually my girlfriend now. And just four uh, months ago, we haven't spoken in years. Joining a club, discovering serious, f uh, serious feeling for me and... Or finding out about her depression. Nothing has just been so unexpected. Still, there's a few days left of the Christmas break, and I know exactly how I want to spend them. After shooting Siri a text, I make my way over. Okay, so it's my mother's plant. What magical adventures are we gonna go on today, Kazuma? I'm glad you asked that, Siri. Today we're going to a magical snowy wonderland. I expect it to be a wild journey, filled with um, snow, snowballs, and festive life. She looks at me for a moment before uh, bursting out laughing. Oh, you're so silly sometimes. It's not like you could come up with a good image uh, with good imaginary on the, the spot. Try me. Okay then, I will. Let's see what you can come up with, Miss Lily Expert. She thinks so a moment. We're going to go on a bold, daring adventure to place brimming with mag to place brimming with magical lights, pristine snow, and frozen icy f uh, fractals. You know what? I know when I'm beat. <laughs> Zero grins with pride, puffing her chest out proudly. Although I bet you don't even know what half of these words mean. Did you relent your uh, uh, Tiasus? Tisaurus? Oh god. I expected my uh, jeep uh, to earn a power from her, but she stands firm. Don't be jealous that you'll never stack up the ice cream. Ice cream? Bold words for someone whose hands get cold super easily. Especially when this person accidentally leaves her gloves at home. That got her. Meanie. You can never let me win. I slid up close to her and planted a kiss on her, uh, kiss on her nose. We love it, really. Although the part tells me otherwise, there's no denying that red blushing creeping on her cheeks. By the way, for your secret center, who did you go shopping with? Natsuki. That is, must have been an awkward afternoon. It wasn't actually. It's also schön, that you see the Siri in the other clothes, because you've seen Siri in the blue sweater. Gesehen. Yeah, doch. <clears throat> it's better that I get to see Nets get out of the club, so it was a really nice day to out together. Good stay out, eh? You could say that. She helped me out a lot when it came to picking a present, a present for you. Toot toot, couldn't even think of a present for me without some, uh, some outside help. You're the one who admitted it was hard at the Christmas party. Checkmate. Since when was your memory that good? No fair. <laughs> uh, no fair. The ice Queen never forgets. She laughs as I roll my eyes. You really like that self-appointed title, don't you? It doesn't even make sense, you hate the cult. Does it bother you? Should I let it go? I can't believe you just did that. She giggles sweetly. Oh my god, I have just said let it go wegen the ice cream. Oh my god, I have it not directly realized. <laughs> she giggles sweetly, playfully lays in her laugh. Anyway, she was really stuck uh, uh, on what to get Yui. There were the obvious choices like a new pen, a book, or something to do with tea. She was considering getting uh, her one of those, but she said she wanted to go for something that wasn't so obvious. She can be really thoughtful when she wants to be. Yeah, I got that impression. The look on Yui's face, man, she really wasn't expecting the Lily at all. I have thought Netsuki would just got her horror book and be done with it. Well, that's the thing. Netsuki said she likes to surprise people. Once you get past her prickly side, she really has a big heart. Not exactly hard to have a big heart when you're that small though, is it? Kazma. It's a joke, it's a joke. Oh, please don't tell her I said that. Hmm. Only if you buy me chocolate. That doesn't so bad. And maybe some cookies. Anything else? A back massage, a fire, perhaps a holiday cruise to the Caribbean as well? Well, now that you mention it, you'd be so lucky. <laughs> what are you gonna have for Siri? Hmm. Her eyes whisk over the menu. Given the abundance of cakes, buns, and other sweet foods, I'm not expecting her to apply any. Uh, Any time this, this this decade, cinnamon buns again? No, actually, I think I'm gonna try the sponge cake. It looks so soft and delicious. The genuine excitement on the face I certainly doing to see. 
and the finger girl is a doll is mine. After giving her order to a waiter, I can't help but reach across the table and take her hands in mine. She looks a little surprised initially, but soon warms my hands with her fingers, smiling shyly. You know, that's something I always loved about you. How adorable you are. Huh? Like, even right now, you're getting really flustered, aren't you? Me? N no. <laughs> yeah. It took me a while to realize my feelings for you. Ever since that tickle fight we had back in September, I remember seeing a look in your eyes. We were in a really, well, awkward position, and you look, uh, looked at me with a look I'd never seen before. Yeah, I remember that moment. I had no idea how to react. It was the first time we spent time together outside of school in a while. I was really happy that day. Me too, I guess that was the first day my feelings for you began to bloom. And over the months, those feelings grew stronger. You gave me a bit of uh, food once and your hands brushed against mine. I remember thinking about how soft your hands felt. It took me totally off guard. Oh, so that's why you zoned out. I was wondering why you looked like you were in a trance. I wasn't too great at calming my tracks, was I? And you smell really nice too. I remember letting that slip when we were carving pumpkins. That doesn't really make any sense. I hadn't showered that day. I don't know, maybe just your natural scent then? Man, that makes me sound like a real caveman, doesn't it? At least you have a very handsome caveman. Nels will turn to go wet. Finding my weed spot with Sayori grins and opens her mouth. No doubt he got to watch me play for a change. Thankfully, a moment of opportuni opportunity is inter uh, interrupted by the waiter uh, bringing us our food. Another huge smile appears on her face as the cake is put in front of her. It's really not hard to put a smile on her face, is it? Watching her is a sight to behold. It's almost like she's inhaling it, straight into the bottomless pit that is her stomach. What's the matter, Kazuma? Conflict's making you turn red. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it was really cute seeing how nervous you were when you warmed up my hands. Was this, you were stuttering and everything. And something tells me it wasn't because of the cold. Guilty as charged. My master plan worked. I should have, all, should have known it was all a ruse. Then again, I got to hold hands with you, so aren't we both arenas? Don't take my weekly away from me, meanie. Not taking away from you, just sharing it. That's Is that so wrong? I stick my tongue out at her. I'll give you credit though. The mi uh, mistletoe plan was pretty flawless. I had absolutely no clue it was coming. Yeah, we all finished. It was so much fun to play with the girl and to plan with the girls. You felt bad, man. Let's get Monica were all for it. You looked absolutely terrified when you saw the mistletoe. Well duh. <laughs> it was nerve-wracking enough when we almost kissed before the others arrived. And then I had to do it with two other people watching? The plan almost backfired on you though. Huh? Well, it was your first kiss too, right? Oh yeah. Although I had advice from Monica beforehand. On how to kiss someone? I didn't know you were meant to close your eyes. I stared at her. Even I knew that. I bet Monica had to teach you a lot, didn't she? I'm not uh, legally obli obliged to answer that. <laughs> I burst out into laughter. Hey! Sorry, sorry. I'm just trying to picture how that conversation went down. Did you ask Monica how to kiss someone? Or were you meant to put your hands while you do it? No, I didn't. I kind of wanted to, though. I had no idea what to do, to be honest, and I was scared that I'd mess it up. You know, it... It being your first kiss and all. And the more I thought about it, the worse I felt that I put you in a really awkward situation. It's really okay. I enjoyed the kiss after all. Plus it was my first one as well, so I was so it was hardly a pro. Really? Really, really. And you know what they say? Practice makes perfect, right? Very smooth, Kazuma. An hour or so later, we're both wound up in my living room. I'm lying on the sofa so you cuddled up next to me. Contenders can be. You know, now that we're actually together, what are we meant to do? I have no clue, you're my first girlfriend after all. Don't get me wrong, it's really nice to just cuddle up together, but when you think about what couples do together, what comes to mind? I have to pause and actually think about this. Uh, like, go on dates? Which I guess we technically just did at the cafe? Sorry, sorry, I'm just, I'm really just as clueless as you are. That's right, I guess we do all, all the time uh, in the world to figure it out. To be honest, I'm perfectly happy just to cuddle up together. Just being with you no matter what we're doing makes me happy. No, That's how I feel with you too, actually. Does it mean I can cancel the romantic getaway to Paris then? She pokes me in the side. But when is the man's capital of the world? How much money have you got to spare, Sayori? Does that include pocket money I spent years ago? Yeah, sure. Maybe negative 200 yen then. Well, unless the planes are operated by really tired hamsters, I don't think we'll be going to France anytime soon. <laughs> I really want a hamster. Why? What do you mean, why? The pet? What would you call it? Stuart. Why? Because of that movie? Yep. 
You know that Stuart Little was a mouse and not a hamster, right? Uh, what's the difference? Hamsters, ta uh, hamsters taste nicer? Is it bad that that actually makes me laugh? It means you're most like mine, so I'll take that as, as you so take that as you will. That's definitely not a good thing then. Don't make, don't make me push you off the couch. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Oh? I've had a bad idea. I sit up and Ronald hesitating began to tickle him mercilessly. The fact is instant, so he immediately begins squirming and laughing uncontrollably. Oh no no not this again. <laughs> That's so unfair, you didn't even give me a chance. I remember correctly, last time it was you who initiated, so here's a taste of your own medicine. He's uh, uh, riding, uh, riding. Oh my god! On the couch, Blue's eyes shimmering with tears from her involuntary, involuntary, uh, involuntary uh, laughter. Okay, okay, I'm sorry for what I said about your humor. Ah, please shut up. As a merciful, as a my merciful soul, I obeyed ever so slightly just to give her a chance to catch her breath. Bad move. So he lunges forward, p uh, pinning me beneath her. His spot of expected dexterity totally catches me off guard, and with a flump, my body sinks into the opposite end of the couch. She wastes the time in dishing out some cold revenge, and within seconds, my laughter and screaming has replaced hers entirely. Oh damn, I did not expect you to do that. Be to be able to do that. <laughs> she brings her face closer to mine, making sure I can see how smug she is. Which actually gives me an idea. Dudding forward, I plant a desperate kiss on her lips. Unlike with her pre previous kiss, this time my tongue is involved, slowly uh, pressing against her top lip. Effect is immediate. Hands go from trying to tickle me to slowly linking around the back of my head. As the, deep, uh, as the kiss deepens, she slowly pushes me back down into the couch. Her body falls with mine. After a few seconds, I'm lying down, with her body directly on top of mine. Mine is going wild, trying to process exactly what's going on. I only intend for the kiss to distract her, but it's ignited some kind of urge in both of us. A body feels so warm against mine, and with a sun drawn I'm very aware of a part of Siri, lay me two parts, that I press them against my chest. The roast, yeah, okay. Needless to say, the atmosphere is completely char charged. Neither of us know how to react. The silence continues, with each p uh, passing second feeling like hours. We have the hours, hours to ourselves, so body is pressed on top of mine, and there's some kind of primal instinct stirring within the both of us. I open my eyes. Sayori? She hastily comes off me. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to, uh... It's okay, it's okay, it just kinda... Happened. <laughs> yeah. Anyway... I had a lot of fun today, Kazuma. It's a shame sc uh, school starts tomorrow, though. I was hoping it would remind me, uh... And we'll be getting results of our December uh, exams back. Johnny could go one of two ways. We'll be fine. I think. Only one way to find out. Anyway, it's getting late. Want me uh, to walk you home? Sure! Okay, dann hätten wir einen äh, schon hinter uns. Eine 6 auf, ich glaube, das ist relativ kurz. Das heißt, wir schmeißen da noch vielleicht eine zweite dahinter. Wahrscheinlich auch mit dem Schulstart. Also, wir werden jetzt einfach mitten in die Woche reingeschmissen, wer weiß. Okay, nein, das, das ist wieder allerdings äh, einfach der Tag darauf. Oh, so, wir haben erst 13 Minuten oder so, also machen wir definitiv noch weiter. Here we are, back in class. Man, the holy is really whisked by in a flash. Seeing Siri in the mornings really makes a huge difference to how I perceive the school day. Am I a morning person now? Maybe she really isn't my sunshine. Just like her poem. She surely made beef mushy, hasn't she? Wonder what mom would think. Psst! Morning, Ami. Good Christmas bake. So, did it work? Huh? So, Ida, are you guys together yet? Uh, going straight in, I see. Well, how are you? Yeah, we are. I knew it. Are you going... Well, I think that's everyone. As the last student makes their way to the desk, Sakurai puts down the register and stands at the front of the class. Hope everyone had a good break. There's a weak, uh, lukewarm murmur. Oh, come on, guys. You got it easy. Your exams were before the break. They used to teach at the school that ja had January exams. At least they had a reason to be so honest, too uh, enthusiastic about returning. Anyone get anything cool for Christmas? Yeah, my mom finally caved in and got me this new pair of running sneakers. Fuck that girl, for sure. What if I got me a plant? Uh, I'm not sure what it is What it is about me, screams Flower Man, but hey, life's full of surprises. Anyway, given how I was supposed to start, uh, start the lesson five minutes ago, let's begin, shall we? Normally at the other side when it comes to launch time, given how cold it's gotten recently, the outdoors doesn't particularly appeal to me right now. A lot of students uh, opt to just eat in their home room, especially as the temperature drops outside. The club is also a viable choice, and luckily it's always free around lunch time. Over the Christmas break, we suggested eating there in the club room, and despite Monica saying she couldn't make any promises, the decision was pretty much uh, universally agreed on. 
If your stomach gurgling, I make my way over. You and Natsuki are already there by the time I arrive. Well, they're not exactly best friends or anything. Their friendship was most, uh, much less shaky than it was three months ago. That's far. I could uh, tell that Natsuki's thoughtfulness really touched Yui. Hey, guys. The Yomi him uh, Homeo himself has arrived. Natsuki. Afternoon, Kazuma. Monica's not here yet? It's not a surprise, is it? You know, given how she has like 5 million extracurriculars extra going on. Those things open, sorry, walks through a chimney smile on her face. Hey! I'm so glad we all decided to eat together for lunch times. Thinking bad, I'm kinda surprised no one suggested it earlier. Well, it's a new year and a new start. All we need now is more. Once again, the door swings open, Monica waves at us, and an apologetic smile on her face. Sorry, sorry. I had so much stuff to sort out. A teacher was talking to me about the university applications. Already? But your, your second year of high school isn't even over yet. Monica sighs very warps the temples, putting out her food. Yeah, I know. It's stressful to say the least. That's the beginning result of my December exams back soon. Don't, don't, don't worry, Monica. I'm sure you've done just fine. You work so hard. I'd be inclined to agree. You're a model student. I know how much effort you put into your studies. Monica smiles at her efforts, but doesn't look wholly, con uh, wholly convinced. Oh, now that we're all here, I should tell you that we don't have a club meeting today. There wouldn't be much point giving none of us have any poems to share. We call it a session tomorrow, though, if you guys are interested. I know we didn't hold too many last semester, and uh, that's on me, sorry. I had a lot going on. Now I'm done for meeting tomorrow. I'm probably a little rusty, so this will be a good chance to get back into it. I tend to say, we could write one together if you like. I'm still not as good as you, so this could be a good way to learn. Ooh, that could be really fun tonight. Yep. Well, that's true. The, the, that's the two love, but so that works for me. Yeah, you, you also not an, not an agreement. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow then. She is writing something down her planner. I also noticed that she's using a pen you got her for Christmas. Judging by the shy smile on Yu's face, it's safe to say she's she's all, also noticed. Monica suddenly stands up, swiftly packing away her food containers. Wait, you're leaving so soon? Yeah, I can't really stick around. Need to talk to my parents about the whole university thing. I've been home to me ever since the exams season started. See you guys later. And just like that, she's gone. Free time is foreign for her, isn't it? She really has much going on. I couldn't fathom being in her shoes. The switch would be too much. Oh, there's exams you have to take for university. I don't env uh, envy you guys in the slightest. Uh, well, we don't take those uh, exams until third year, but I think Monica has started her prep re recently. Yeah, just of being a first year, Netsuki. Count yourself lucky because you'll be in Monica's shoes before you know it. I don't know how long it will be until Sakura starts asking me the same thing. Fresh and lingers on my mind as the rest of the lounge break passes by. As the end of the school day arrives, I wander down the corridor towards Zuri's homeroom. Along the way, I spot Yui le leaving her own classroom. Hello again, Kazuma. Um, Yui looks away nervously, fiddling with a strand of hair. You don't have to, of course, but... She stands there struggling to find the right words. What? If you'd like, would you like to walk home together? Ah, uh, you want to walk home with me? Sorry, it's a stupid suggestion. I don't know why I ask. It's not like I didn't want to or anything. I just didn't expect you to ask. <laughs> Are you sure? I know you normally walk with Zoe and I wouldn't want to intrude, intrude upon that or anything. You're waiting for nothing, you. I wish it you mind. The more the merrier. It's cool, I was just on my way to get, go and find her, so feel free to tag along. So after I spot her in the hallway, she looks curiously at the US trading behind me. There you are. I give her a dying peg on the lips, ca causing her to blush. Hey! Where did you walk home? You is gonna be joining us this time, if that's okay. I hope it's no bother. Spice flashes across Sirius' fa features, gone as soon as it has appeared. Oh! Eh... Uh, sure, that's fine. Although... I can't come with you guys today. Oh? Oh? Um, my homeroom teacher wants to talk about uh, to me about some stuff, so you two, uh, you two go ahead. I'll walk with you two tomorrow. Are you sure? Pretty sure we can wait. You nods in agreement. It's no bother. But Sarah so shakes her head. No, there's no telling how long it go on for. But as I think it might be a long discussion. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, okay then. See you soon. Bye, see Bye, Sarah. Okay, jetzt frage ich mich, ist Theory wirklich jetzt beim Lehrer, was ich mich dann bezweifle, oder ist es halt daneben einfach einerseits eine ähm, 
äh, Ausrede, damit sie nicht mit uns zwei mitgeht, weil sie einfach allerdings nicht normal äh, zurechtkommt, weil sie einfach uns für, für uns sie, sie selbst will haben und ein bisschen jealous vielleicht ist. Also eifersüchtig. Oder ist das vielleicht eine Ausrede dafür, dass sie sich mit äh, irgendeinem Professionellen in der Schule trifft, äh, für irgendwann ihre Probleme vielleicht ein bisschen zu reden oder so. Ich weiß nicht. Ich würde aber eher sagen, dass wahrscheinlich das erste äh, eintritt. Aber ja, it's really strange walking home with Yui. Nothing against her, of course. It's just I'm going to use the uh, Siri being there instead. Although Yui is still fairly shy, I noticed that she's come out of her shell a little bit. Especially since we went Christmas shopping together. Not that I'm complaining anything, but why did you, uh, why did you want to uh, walk home with me today? Oh, uh, well. She looks away in size. It's just not so easy. I don't push it. If my fight reserve taught me anything, is that you can never tell what demons people are initially uh, battling. Given I still know, uh, still know very little about Yui, it's definitely best to her uh, to her uh, to uh, on this uh, to err uh, on the side of caution. Uh, the Christmas period has always been very familiar oriented, at least for me. For for long as I can remember, my parents used to put a lot of effort into making Christmas memorable. Especially in this country, the focus of Christmas is on spreading her happiness. From what I read, Christmas is much more festivity concerned with religion in Western countries. But I do guess. I haven't spent Christmas with my family in a while. And if you don't mind me asking, why is that? He looks away, picking at his sleeves. I know that she tends to do that when she's upset or nervous. Yep, that's uh, being the Verletzung an Hebel. They weren't around this year. There's a pause. I feel like there's more to uh, answer, but again, instinct tells me not to push it. Ja, die Eltern sind ja, wie wir von der Jury route wissen, tot, deswegen... Ja, ist halt Jury alleine, beziehungsweise auf sich alleine gestellt. The Christmas period was very... <coughs> Christmas period was very lonely, as you could imagine. Going shopping with you, exchanging gifts, playing with all of the club members. It really was the highlight of December. Although, it was only temporary. When I got home, I took out the place lead that the Netsky gave me. Not such a thoughtful gift, but it was also bittersweet. That would have been the type of present my that my pa parents would have gotten me. It got me. So why it was lovely to see if they planned. It was a reminder that my parents were the ones to give it to me. Hey, Yuri. I had no idea it was so lonely. If you told me this earlier, I have loved to spend time with you. I had a lot of fun when you did uh, when you did our Christmas shopping. You were really good company and gave really uh, useful advice. Oh well, you and Sarah are a couple. The last thing I want to do will be to intrude on that. Away for a anyway. Yui, Sayo and I both like you. You're a friend. You've seen how happy how Sayo makes it the top priority to ensure your friends are happy. It's not a problem at all. I'm sorry to bother you for my top is like this. It's just that I couldn't really talk to other two girls. Monica is constantly very busy and Netsky. Well, our friendship has definitely improved since you first saw us argue, but... Not at a stage where you can be comfortable asking her to hang out. Yes. I've always been quite solitary by nature. And while I enjoy time with myself... Sometimes it would be nice to spend time with another person. Especially one as open-minded and considerate as you. Not that I don't appreciate the other club that much. It's just that, well, I haven't really spent a day with any of them where it's just us two. And well, I think it's rather obvious that social etiquette isn't an area I excel in. Eh, well, I'm actually comfortable around me and able to tell me about this all, uh, me about all of this theory. I know what it's like to be lonely. Last year before I reconnected with Serena, I met all of you guys. I was pretty much alone or two. I mean, I had classmates, uh, but we never uh, never really spent time together outside of class. A lot of my free time was spent alone. And then my parents had a divorce, so that made it a lot, a lot worse. So yeah, I'd hate for someone else to go through that. Especially someone who's got this... Who's this, uh, who, who's this good a friend? I give her a quick hug. Based on the look on her face, it's safe to share she, she definitely wasn't expecting it. Thank you, Kazuma. It really means a lot to me. Nothing to thank me for. It's what friends do. Anyway, what are you up to tonight? Well, uh, Kevin, this semester has only just begun. I'm relatively free, as I don't have any homework to complete. I've also started this new book. It's very popular, so you may have heard of it as well. There was also around a group of children that struggle against a supernatural homicidal entity which used shape-shifting to exploit its victims with fear. It, t it typically takes the form of the deranged-looking clown. Ah, okay, it. Ich hatte das Buch sogar auch hier äh, zu Hause, ich habe aber noch nicht gelesen. Actually, I have heard of that one. The kids later go on to, the, to fight the monsters as adults, like 20 years later, right? Here's the ice light up. I was just meaning, I was always been meaning to get into it. Ah, uh, well. I actually have a spare copy if you'd be interested in reading it. Oh? 
Well, that's a coincidence if I ever see one. Good <laughs> thing. I'll let you know uh, how I'm finding it if you'd like. If that's something you want to do, it would be lovely. Well, this is me. Ah, okay. I guess he really wasn't engrossed in the conversation now that we're here. There's a wistful, sad look on her face that she tries to hide by turning away. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, and thanks for letting me walk with you. It's nothing, Yuri, and thanks for the book. I'll get started on this tonight. I look forward to hearing your thoughts on the first few chapters tomorrow, then. She turns and leaves. As I absently, ab absent mindedly watch her walk down the up street, I can't help but wonder if there's anything more I could do for her. In some ways, her situation is like Siri. Both girls struggling with an invisible adversary. And was totally ob and I was totally oblivious. Given your social nat uh, solitary nature, I suppose it was easy to see. One of uh, one of Natsuki and uh, Monica are struggling with anything as well. Oh yeah, jeder der Girls hat ihre Probleme. Wir wissen natürlich von den Hauptproblemen bei den uh, drei Main Girls, wo Monica ist einfach halt ihren Eltern. Das hat man doch. Bei Monica hat man immer halt nur so kleine uh, Einblick halt, was bei ihr läuft. Und deswegen kann man nicht direkt festsetzen, was äh, falsch läuft. Man weiß einfach nur, dass sie extremst gestresst wird von ihren Eltern und sehr viel Leistungsdruck und alles so hat. Und darauf geht sie auch mehr ein in der Netzki-Route. Bei einer bestimmten Route, da äh, trifft man sie ja im Park an und redet über Netzki, glaube ich, und die ganze Situation, die man zu dem Zeitpunkt immer lebt. Und sie droppt ja auch ein paar Sachen mehr da. Also da hat man, glaube ich, am meisten von Monika gehört und ihren Problemen. Aber ja, bei Netz sind es halt die äh, häuslichen äh, Probleme eben halt mit dem Vater und alles so und mit dem Geld und mit der Nahrung. Bei Yuri ist es die Social Anxiety, die Selbstverletzung und der, der, die Abwesenheit der Eltern wegen dem äh, Autounfalls. Und bei Yuri ist es halt äh, die äh, Depressionen, die schlechten Gedanken und einfach Dings, das schlechte Bild, Bild von sich selbst einfach. Und äh, ja, ich glaube bei Yuri werden wir noch ein paar Sachen rausfinden. <lacht> Given the uh, letters pick uh, pickly nature, I don't think she ever tell me. A painful video with the the shadowing trips, doch. And with Monica, she seems under a lot of pressure from her parents and teachers. Yeah, this couple isn't exactly the uh, epitome of happiness, is it? Yep. After an hour or so later, Sio texted me to let me know she was on her way. Man, the teacher really kept her for a while. Now we settled down into the living room, pens and paper at the ready. Ah, uh, can't you decide what this poem should be about? Sorry. I'm not actually that bothered about wedding poem. To be honest, I only suggest suggested this so we could spend more time together. Really? <laughs> I maneuver myself so I'm sitting directly behind her, wrapping my arms around her neck, back. Back? Neck? It's a bit of a back. Yeah. <clears throat> she giggles and leans back backwards. Uh huh. What Kazuma? I know, I know. But if I detach myself and pull up the notebook in front of me, pen in hand. After all, we're both finished with our poems. So I wasn't kidding when she said she does better in creative subjects. Watching her brainstorm and write her poems has proven to be a real eye-opener. Although not quite to, to the same extent as Yui, so Yui really gets lost in her own little world. As she wrote, I was struck by how much attention she goes into her work. Vincent, she deliberately avoids cliches and has an interesting, varied rhyme scheme. Language is emotive and effective, enabling the reader to vividly picture what she's talking about. <laughs> Sorry, it's easier to immerse yourself into the world as she, she creates. <laughs> Sorry, my god, and the best part was seeing the look, uh, the look on her face as she wrote. My poem obviously can't hold a candle to hers, but it was at least much more enjoyable to write my poem with her next to me. Ah, jetzt hab ich den Rest von der Folge nicht auf Hilfe. Theory? Hm? A teacher, uh, teacher, a homeroom teacher want, you, uh, want to talk uh, to you about. Oh, that. Well, I haven't been handing homework in time. I've just been, well, it's impossible to find the motivation to work on it sometimes. Haven't you thought about telling me about, well, your depression? I'm sure they'd be a bit more la uh, lenient if they knew what was going on. From their perspective, they'd probably just think you're being lazy. Ah, uh, maybe. That would be a lot of hassle. As she talks, I reach over to my back and pull out a book that you lent me. Oh, what's that? It looks scary. Oh, yeah, it's a book you lent me while we were walking home. She just got into this book herself and I happened to have a, sp a spare copy, just as I told her I always wanted to read it. Read this, read this book as well. What a coincidence, eh? This is silence for a few seconds. Did I say something wrong? Sorry? Oh, sorry. I was just look um, looking at the front cover. Pretty creepy, yeah? huh? Another awkward silence. Kazma, why did you want to have a comb with you? 
Huh? Why does she look angry all of a sudden? Yeah, I versucht. Ich habe mir schon gedacht. Oh, Dad. Uh, I'm not sure if I should tell you about your thing really lonely. As good as the friendship is, I use confession was rather per personal. I can't tell you. Why not? Well, it's personal. Okay. You're just well, going through some difficult times at the moment. And we're friends, so I guess that's why she wants to talk to me. And you like spending time with her, don't you? I mean, yeah, isn't that normal between friends? Yeah, of course it is. I'm glad you two get along so well. It also went Christmas shopping together, right? Yep, she's actually really good with her suggest suggest suggestions. Well, she did take ages in the stage in each uh, shop. You think I'd be used to that, given how long you spend at any shops that have candy? <laughs> I believe you're not sure, but she barely responds. You okay? You seem a little tense. Oh, sorry, yeah, I was just thinking about all, all of the homework I need to catch up on. I should, should probably get going, actually. Oh, really? She stands up and heads to the door. You could ask Yui to come over. She's better company than I am, anyway. Huh? She closed the door and I'm left there, wondering what that was all about. Did I say something to upset her, or perhaps she had a fight with Yui? I mean, that explained why she seemed angry at the mention of Yui's name. Oh, I'm just fine to think this one over. I'll ask her about it tomorrow. Nein, es hat damit zu tun, dass du Zeit mit anderen verbracht hast und äh, zu viel Positiver über sie redest. So wie es umgedreht war bei der Euro jute wo sie zu positiv über Seori geredet hat. Was ein bisschen ironisch jetzt ist, dass es natürlich jetzt komplett umgedreht ist. Aber okay. Dann sehen wir nächste Folge, wie das ausläuft. Es wird wahrscheinlich zu einem kleinen Streit auskommen, wenn das ein großer Streit ich weiß nicht. <lacht> Aber ich habe mir schon gedacht, weil ich habe gemerkt, dass während der Route, dass wir Netzki ein bisschen halt manchmal sehen, aber äh, dass Yuri extrem viel präsent noch immer ist. Und dass wahrscheinlich dann Yuri die Person wird sein, die ein bisschen die Alpha-Sucht bei ihr Theorie hoch, äh, spielen, also hochbringen wird. Und das scheint sich immer mehr zu beweisen noch. Äh, beziehungsweise eher zeigen noch. Und ja, äh, sind wir dann in der nächsten Folge, wie das weitergeht. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Bis dann in der nächsten Folge, wo hoffentlich nichts Schiebers geht zwischen uns beiden, also Theorie und uns. Und ja, danke fürs Zuschauen. Tschüss.